Love him or hate him, you can't deny the fact that Iman Ghazi knows how to make money. He's made millions of dollars from his coaching businesses over the past few years. And a key component to make all of this work is his landing pages. And in this video, we'll analyze the landing page of one of his latest programs, the Eight Figure License. Now, Iman's team have built dozens, if not hundreds of landing pages, and they know exactly how to structure them, what sections to use, and what language to use in order to make them as effective as possible. We'll see exactly what makes the AFL landing page work. Now, before we dive in and look at the page itself, we need to clarify a few things because if we don't, we won't know why the page was built this exact way. Now, the first thing we need to define before we can look at the page is the goal. What do we want the users to do when they are on our landing page? And in the case of AFL, it's pretty simple. We want people to book a call. This is the case for most coaching programs and service-based businesses. But what exactly makes someone want to book a call? Now, the two key variables are relevancy and trust, because if what you're selling is not relevant to the target audience, they won't take action. And if they don't trust you, why would they even give you their money? So the landing page has to one, show our product is relevant and two, build trust and credibility. Now, in the case of ADFL, we have a simple one page funnel, which is very often used by this type of coaching programs. In fact, I've built the exact same funnel he's using into our educate template, which you can check out in the link in the description and get it if you wanna have a similar funnel to his. Now, each one of the eight section works to fulfill these two goals, build relevancy and build trust. So with that out of the way, we can now dive into the page itself and see how they achieve that. Now, first up, when we land on a page, we see the hero section, which is pretty simple. We have a graphic on the right side, a background graphic and some content on the left side. We also have a very simple navigation. Now, most general websites have a logo on the left, links in the middle and a button on the right. But in this case, we have a simple centered logo. The reason why is because we don't want users navigating to other pages. We want them to take the exact journey we have prepared for them in this funnel and we don't want to give them the freedom to go anywhere else. Now, a very important thing that the graphic does here is it builds the brand identity of the program with the orange colors, the logo and everything else. And on the left side, the content, what it does is it basically reaffirms that the reason you clicked on this page is relevant to the content of this page. So it's not anything too groundbreaking. It just makes you want to scroll further. But we also have a CTA button that if you're ready to apply, you can click it and not waste your time going through all of the other sections. As we said, our main goal is to get people to book a call. So it's always great to have call to actions that allow them to do just that. Now moving on, the second section kind of lists out the features of the program, but it does them with the language of sharing benefits instead of features. For example, operate on autopilot is technically the feature of proven systems and processes, but operate on autopilot is a benefit that people will get by joining the program. So that's how we want to share it. Now, again, this section builds relevancy. It talks about what people will get and that it's relevant to the problems they're facing. And also it's building the brand identity once again with the orange color and the custom graphics that they have added here. Now the section after that is pretty similar to the previous one because it also lists out benefits that people will get by joining the program, but they're more unique benefits that you can't get anywhere else. So we have never before seen content, direct access to their leadership team that are unique to this program. So this is kind of like a unique value proposition section that lists out more benefits people will get by joining in a different layout than the previous one. Next up, we have a sneak peek into the eight figure license, which is formatted in a very interesting way. So they kind of share this like almost like stories. It doesn't say how you can decide to become famous. It says how Iman decided to become famous and accomplished it in 12 months. This way your claims sound more believable because well, Iman has actually done this and you know this for a fact because if you're on this landing page, you have most likely consumed his content and know what he's doing. So if you can format your benefits, your features that people will get in this kind of a story format, then it's a great way to make it sound more credible because you can say that you're you, you have done it. You don't just preach how to do it, but you actually practice what you preach. Now, below this section, we have our first trust building section. So up to this point, we have had one, two, three relevancy building sections. And now it's time to build trust. And we do that with the team section. In Iman's case, it's a lot more powerful because 
all of the people that we see here, we have seen in his vlogs, in his YouTube channel, and people would love to pay to get access to them. So this is not something everybody can share on their landing page. But even if that's the case, it's always great to have a team section because it shows that you are willing to put your face behind this brand and you really believe in the product. So having a team section, even if you don't have a super recognizable team, it's still good to add because it also builds trust. Now, under this team section, we have our first call to action section, which can actually be sprinkled around the page here and there, especially on bigger landing pages, because we want to give people the option to take action as often as possible. So this is what this section does right after the first trust building section, we give them the opportunity to apply today. And a really interesting thing that the language does here is that they frame this call as an application. And this kind of puts the frame in your control, in the control of the person selling the program instead of in the control of the client. So this is something Eman has been doing ever since his agency days. I remember back in 2018, I used to analyze his old agency website and he used to frame the call in the exact same way. He kind of talks about that you have to go to an application process and if they accept you, then you can work with them. So this is a great way to build frame in your favor instead of in the favor of the customer who has the money and you realistically want to take their money and give them your product. Again, this is very powerful using this language to frame calls gives you a lot of benefits. Now under that, we have another trust building section, which is probably the most important trust building section you can have along with case studies. This is the testimonials. If you can have video testimonials, this will make it even more powerful. The important thing is that you definitely don't want to fake testimonials because it's obvious when somebody has faked them, when they've written them with chat GPT. And yeah, legit testimonials are the most powerful tool you can have for client acquisition. So I would really urge you to make it your priority to get some more testimonials for your company, for your product that you're selling. This is very powerful. Our second trust building section right here. Under that, right after the second trust building section, we have the main call to action section, which is the calendar. Now, a cool thing that this calendar does is that they have added tons of questions that you have to go through before you can uh, book a call. So for example, you see right here, as soon as I pick a date and a time, it opens this form that you have to fill out. And why this is cool is because it automatically disqualifies unqualified leads. So if you go to pick a budget, if you go to zero to $20,000 uh, for your monthly profit, they most likely won't accept you because they're looking for people that can pay high ticket prices. From what I've heard, this program costs upwards of $15,000. So somebody that makes this amount of money would be difficult to sell on this product and they would most likely cancel your call. Now, another thing is that it actually nurtures people that are qualified because what they're doing is they're asking for your current business situation, your ultimate goal, and what's the biggest challenge stopping you from reaching that goal. And if they know this information, if they know what you're currently doing, if they know your main goal, and if they know the biggest challenge on the sales call, the salesperson can simply take these answers and build their sales pitch around your specific situation. And this makes the sales call a lot more easier. So this is a great thing to implement into your program and or into your service that you're selling. Now under the calendar, we have a simple frequently asked question section. And this is one of my favorite sections because you can easily address common concerns and common objections that you might get from people. And the reason why they have positioned it right under the calendar is because if someone has got into the calendar, if they have seen all previous section and they still haven't booked a call, then it means they have some concerns. And with these questions, you can address the most common concerns in hopes of convincing people to scroll back up and finish booking their call. So this is pretty much the last section on this landing page. And another thing is that the footer doesn't have any links. Once again, because we want people to just stay on this page, we don't want them to leave it until they have booked a call. So as you can see, the structure is not very complicated but it has been carefully thought out to take you on a journey to show you that the program is relevant to your goals and that you can trust them because they have actually achieved results for others and they are real people that can help you solve your problems. So this is pretty much the structure of the ADFL landing page, but one important thing to mention is that it's also very important 
that the content that leads to this landing page is once again relevant to the problems of your target audience. Because if Iman was still making videos about how to run an agency and he sold this program, which is centered around building a personal brand, then it simply wouldn't be relevant. But yeah, as you can see, even though Iman has this huge audience, even though he has so much trust he's built over the years, he still needs an effective landing page to sell his programs. And again, if you want to take this exact funnel, you can check out our educate template where I have built an exact copy of this that you can easily get and customize to make it fit your program or your business. And you can try it out and see how well this type of funnel will work for you. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.